Cyclonus, and come on, it's, if it was just a repaint of, uh, of Silverbolt and just Cyclonus and some, you know, combiner that didn't make sense, but once they made it Galvatronus, huh, I can't resist it. You know me too well, Hasbro. Touche. You know me too well. Yeah, there's no way to resist this, and I really can't wait to um, open them up and check them out and just really see what he looks like. But Hansbro, if you really know me, then you know I want four sweeps. Yeah, it's excessive, but for some reason they just would work so awesomely. Four sweeps. Yeah, to go with Cyclonus. Yeah, for Galvatronus, you got the four sweeps and Cyclonus, and you put them together and make Galvatronus, and I will be very, very happy, puppet. So uh, let's just turn this hand hands. And here we go on the side. The picture on the side is of uh, Galvatronus. But I got to say, I'm, I'm not too impressed with that picture on the side. I and mean, the one on the front is great. But that side picture is just kind of... Here, five minutes, finish the picture. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not liking that one. But uh, let's see the back. All right, and then let's read. In the back it says, uh, let's see. Cyclonus uses mind control to combine with any bot, siphoning the powers of whichever Autobots or Decepticons will serve his purpose of unleashing chaos across the universe. Yeah, and there's Galvatronus. And they show it with skydive and air raid, Cyclonus drag strip, and breakdown. Well, this one I don't mind it being mix and match because that's the whole point. And 16 steps to transform it. And then we'll do the side and the front. So I'm really just can't wait to just open them up, check them out. So let's just really do this. Oh man, new toy, new toy, new toy. I love new toys, don't you? I, I, I want to get new toys every day. It'd be great. Of course, I'd never have any money and I'd live on the streets. But I have lots of toys. Wait, where would I put them if I don't have a house? Oh man, it's a conundrum. I'll have to think about that. New toy! Woohoo! Alright, and here we see Cyclonus in his vehicular mode. Looking really nice. I mean, from the top, it looks like Cyclonus. Now, of course, when you go to the side or the bottom, yeah, it's just like Silverbolt. You can see everything. But, from the top, it looks great. <laughs> you know, and also I gotta give them credit because they really did a massive redesign on this. You know, they could have just, you know, made it really simple. But they actually did a lot of redesigning on um, Silverbolt. And let's just get out Silverbolt. So you just see the two side by side. And if you look... You know, you look at the back ends, they just redid it. This whole piece in the middle is completely, where that's just a straight tubing. Here, you've got much thicker tubing, comes in, you know, just totally different. The wings, and when you get to the sides, they're a little bit similar. When you get to the sides, there you go. The backs. Yeah, the backs are, you know, it's got the same little detail here on the back. You know, but this part here is different. So, they actually did do 
remolding, you know, for the figure, and not just a simple one. So really good job, Hasbro, Takara, whoever's responsible. Nice work. All right, now let's uh, get him into his robot mode. Now before I do the um, the transformation, I just wanted to show the gun because it is the same exact thing, only in um, gray. So it still, you know, separates. Though it's a lot harder to separate. Um, yep, into the two guns, but this this thing is terrible as a gun. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why they did that. But yeah, there's the smaller, the long gun, the shield gun, or whatever that is. Yep, but same exact molding, no difference. Just gray plastic, black. That's it. All right, so let's transform Cyclonus, and the first thing I'm gonna do is take his uh, nose cone, close that, and flip it back. And it has a little tab on the back here that you just plug in there. So he actually holds holds it in there right like that. All right, once we do that part, then we take the wings and just put the wings back. Take out the hands like this. So we got the hands. Now for the legs, we're going to just take the legs, flip them down, rotate them, go to the foot, flip out the foot, take out the heel. So same thing here, rotate, flip out the foot, and flip out the heel. Close this back part here, close this back part here. Rotate the arm, rotate the arm. And uh, take out this little spiky thing, dagger. You can put it in the side right there. That's where I put it. And then last, we're gonna we just go and we're gonna flip up his head like this. And there you go. Cyclonus is in his robot mode. Yep, looking pretty fantastic. So let's get a closer look. So here we have Cyclonus, and that is just an awesome head sculpt. I love the thin face that they put on him. It looks awesome. I mean, it really fits Cyclonus. Really nice. I do wish they had changed the shoulders a little bit, but because they're, you know... The uh, legs, I kind of understand. But yeah, the chest piece, really lots of nice details in the figure. They really did a great job to differentiate Cyclonus from Silverbolt. Just go around the back side, do a quick rotation, and then we'll get over here, and we'll move him back, bring in Silverbolt, for a comparison and there you go now yep they're based on the same mold but you could just see now you can look at the legs the legs are about the same the waist a little bit different on the waist of course chest is similar I think chest this parts the same but when you get to this upper part completely different same thing here, the upper part of the chest completely redone. Yet the arms are the same, hands are the same, legs are the same. And so, you know, head sculpt is totally new. When we go to the sides, you could see the different chest for, you know, Superion and, and uh, Galvatronus. You know, wings are different. Go to the back, you got a different look in the back because of the the, uh, I don't know, fronts of the jet, sides, back to the front, yeah. So you can just really see how it is a fantastic remolding of the figure. And he does keep all the same articulation. Nice ratchety 360 there. He's got ratchets. Rotate. Good elbow. He's got a flippy hand. Right there. Um, head. Head will do, yep, it'll do 360. And because of transformation, he can look way up, but not down. <laughs> um, his legs, yep, they'll go out. 
they'll go out 90. All right, they'll go down, they'll go all the way forward. Back, no, because you're gonna hit this part here unless you do it like this, you know, move it out a little bit, then you can do it, but yeah. Below that hip, you got 360, and he's got a really good knee. So, and foot tilt, yeah, he does have foot tilt. So there you go. Cyclonus, pretty fantastic. I really like the way that they did it. And I'm always happy to have a Cyclonus. Because I did own the G1 back in the day. But uh, now let's take a look at uh, Galvatronus. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Alright, now let's get Cyclonus into Galvatronus mode. So first thing, he's going to do the Superman. So just put his hands straight up in the air. And then we're going to take the fists and flip them all the way back. There you go. Once you do that, we're going to turn his head around and then push it down into place. And we're going to come here to the waist. And you got to kind of grab it there and open it up. So you just grab, pull down, and there is the Galvatronus head. Now go to the feet and we're going to close up the feet and make sure you open that hatch there. So open it up and then close the feet and then turn him upside down. So then all you have to do, make sure that's open, rotate it and we're going to flip down this part here and it's just going to, just like in um, vehicle mode, there is a tab yeah, in there and this tab just goes in there. So you just want to get that tabbed in. So you get that and you're going to tab it in, get the other side and tab in the other side as well. Hopefully get them tabbed in. There goes that side and this side is almost, almost got it. Alright, there it goes, they're tabbed in. Once you have that, now we're going to take the Galvatronis head and there's a tab here. Tab, tab. This one goes right in here, and then we're going to take these pieces, flip up, and we're going to close them in together. Like this and this. And one more thing I forgot to do. Oh, man. Order, order, order. Okay, first, before you do that, open up his, flip down the chest piece of Cyclonus to put that part there, and then we close this part yeah if we do things in the right order everything works out well when we do it out of order then we have all kinds of problems so there you go and there we would have or there we do have Galvatronus and oh one more thing we gotta open up the sides and because he just combines with everybody here he is alright we'll just go and we'll put in first aid Oh man, that was not a smart way to do it. Alright, first aid and lock him in. Good. Come over here and off-road. And then we'll do the arm. So we'll get Rook over here. And the last one we'll put on is Air Raid because nobody wants him. <laughs> and there we have There we go, and there we have Galvatronus in his robot mode. You know, in his combined mode. And just so you know, um, the feet, the hands, I use the, uh, what is it, the Perfect Combiner PC-01. Yeah, I use that for it because I think it looks pretty good and I could do a nice little comparison between him, you know, with those extra parts. And Superion, just so you can see a little bit of height difference. So there they are together, Superion and Galvatronis. And you can see he gains a little bit of height just from those um, extra pieces. But he does look pretty fantastic. And I love the idea of him slaving other, uh, other Transformers to him. It's just a really neat idea that I think is... Pretty awesome. So, yeah, kudos to you. 
And let me just do a quick um, close up of his face, if we can, because I gotta raise up the camera. Oh, and he just dove right in. Yes, you can't wait to be there. All right. So let's come over here and hopefully, hopefully it'll focus on. There he is. And that head sculpt does look fantastic. And also, the little details on the chest. And he's got the six pack of steel right there. Well, the four pack, I guess. Should be six. It makes it look better. But yeah, four pack of steel there. And the belt. It all just brings back to Galvatron. And I think that's pretty awesome right there. So there you go. There's Galvatronus. All combinered up. And so let's just go to the summation. All right. All right. Time for the summation. Oh, man. So what do I think about Combiner War Cyclonus? Oh, man. This figure is awesome. And I really, really like it. And I like Silverbolt, but, man, Cyclonus is just one of those characters I really like. And it's because, you know, G1 favoritism, I guess. Because I love the G1 figure. I had the G1 figure. And Galvatron was also one of my favorites. Now, I ain't never had a G1 Galvatron. I have been tempted to buy a reissue. But it just kind of doesn't seem worth it. Yeah, a friend of mine had Galvatron. And I was so disappointed seeing that figure. But this Galvatronus, man, I love the look of him. I love the way he steals other combiners. And it's just such a good idea. Man, there, there's nothing not to lack. Unless you hate buying um, repeats. Yeah, just recolors, remolds. But that's a lot of combiner wars. So you'll be missing out on a lot of figures if you don't like that. So it is nice. It is shiny. It is good. And uh, I don't like... Galvatronus, I don't just absorb you, I eat you. You know, he kind of tastes like um, grape jelly beans. Mmm, that's good. Good toy. Good toy. Uh, bye.